Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of My Pathetic Life as a Homeowner. Progress and maintenance. That's all it is when you buy a house. I'm in the middle of a mixture of progress and maintenance uh, in the sense that I just ripped out the old dishwasher and I am installing a new dishwasher. Why am I installing a new dishwasher? Well, this one was pretty old and uh, the springs broke on it. And this one was brand new and I think it was time to put a new one in. So this video is gonna be about me putting in specifically a Bosch Silence Plus 500 series dishwasher. And the reason why I'm making a specific video is because uh, all these dishwashers, dishwashers might be slightly different. But uh, that being said, if you wanna watch the video of me ripping out my old shit, uh, look on my YouTube channel or subscribe. Uh, I did make a video on that yesterday. Um, this house is roughly 20 years old, so the plumbing's 20 years old, the way they did the electrical is 20 years old, and the dishwasher was probably at least a decade old as well. So here's what I'm left with, and uh, let's get started with this. Cheers. Next thing I'm gonna do, there's these two little L brackets. Uh, if you look there really closely in the picture, it shows you to install them. This is the stupid part about these instructions. They don't really tell you where the hell you're going. Like, I can't tell the front or back, so that's why I'm making this video. And like I said, no bullshit, just flying through it. Um, if I screw up, I'll probably screw up and uh, point that out, or you can point that out. But anyways, it looks like it goes like this. These go right here. I got it tilted forward for you. The picture shows it going like this, so I'm assuming it goes like this. And you just push them in. And on the other side, you do the same, and you push it in like this. I'm hoping you guys can see that. All right, that's in. If you're wondering what the hell these are for, which I was wondering at first too, it's for the toe plate. They call it a toe panel. I call it a kickboard. I don't fucking know. Call it whatever the fuck you want. But anyways, this is, um, so sometimes these are slotted. Sometimes they're not like this one. This one's not slotted. So because it's not slotted, they give us a nice little multi-position access point to go doo -doo 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 -doo, like that. So that's what that's for. I'm not putting this on yet because we're gonna throw the dishwasher in. All right, next. All right, I'm gonna tilt this down. The next thing that you wanna put on, and I'm not doing this in the, in, the, in the way the instructions are telling me to. I don't even need to put these on right now. I can kind of do it after the fact. You know what, I'm gonna leave these off why am I gonna leave these off? Because I have a brand new counter coming in. And what these are for is, they're the brackets that make sure that this thing doesn't fall forward. So they go right here, you clamp it right here, you clamp it and then you kind of bend your way into your countertop and put some screws in and then it secures it from the top. You can also do it from the side, um, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. But that's what these are for. So next for me, so if you notice here, this is my old plumbing. This is a, a copper tube or a copper pipe. And this is the dumbest way to plumb, in my opinion, a dishwasher because you want to move it in and out. And it's not very flexible and this is way more flexible. So I'm going to rip this one out and my connection's over here. So this is another piece that you're going to might be totally different on. I'm just going to explain this really quickly. Um, you have a water, there should be a water uh, supply for your old dishwasher. If you don't have an old dishwasher and you're selling a new dishwasher, you're probably going to want to get a plumber come in and put a valve in or something like that. But anyways, this is off right now. Obviously, no water spilling out. I'm going to disconnect this and uh, run that braided line. And then to give you an idea where my hose, my... Uh, drainage goes for the dishwasher it goes into my garburator this might be totally different for your setup so you're gonna have to look through the instructions to figure it out but this is me just kind of throwing out the old shit and putting the new shit in so it's gonna be hard to see for you guys but i'm gonna do this really quick i'm just taking this off right here this is the like i said the line to the dishwasher i'm gonna take it off i'm gonna shove it that way shove it through here Bullshit. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Oh, copper line is out and it's pretty much garbage. So I do have a bit of fear in the sense that I'm hoping six feet is enough. 
Uh, it's like, I wish it was like an extra two feet. That's my only fear right now. I might have to go and buy one at Home Depot. But let's try to run it and see what happens. So next I'm gonna rip this out. That's the old drain. And I have a connection up here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Connection up here, I'm gonna leave this side on, but chances are you might be going all the way through. So what do I need? So there's a spring clamp here that I'm trying to get at. So while I'm at this, sorry if I'm shaking here, while I'm at this, the recommendation in the instructions is have this connection loop up so it's higher than this connection here. So mine goes all the way back there. Might be hard to see, but it goes all the way up there. So that's fine. But anyways, I'm going to rip this out now and then you take this. Actually, yeah. let's fucking do it without. It should rip through. All right, this is now garbage because the dishwasher comes with a new one. Woo! Cheers. All right, electrical. Excuse me. Again, there's a plug back here. We're gonna be plugging the cable into there and then trying to get it to the power. So again, if you have an outlet, such as this one, you can use this and you're plug and play and you're good to go. If you don't have an outlet, like my case, I'm gonna have to wire into this junction box. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to wire into this junction box and kind of stick this somewhere. I'm not sure yet where that's gonna be, but that's what I have to do. So let's do that. If you don't have to do that, you can skip past this, but that's what I gotta go through. So disclaimer, gotta put it in there. You should have your power off by now. It's off in my breaker from the pull out uh if you want to double check it you buy yourself one of these cool little pens this one's getting a little bit old but if it turns red it'll start uh, beeping on you let me try to make it red there you go goes red if it's not a uh, hot wire it'll stay green but if you shake it around because this one sucks it goes a little red i gotta cut this back so i got way too much wire in here i don't need this much this is probably more than enough so i'm gonna cut this Still got enough room to work with up here so I can make it nice and easy for the audience. Uh, need a fucking knife. So I'm gonna cut this back a bit, expose some of the wire. Man, my hand's shaking. Woo, I'm flying through this and I haven't had enough beer yet. That's the problem. There's some sh paper sheathing in here. That's gone. All right, strippers, party. I haven't been to a strip club in a while. No longer allowed to. Come on, baby. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice and stripped. All right. Let's open up the box. What do we got to work with? Pretty basic, straightforward. You have L, N, G. Is that an N? Yeah, it is. So line, neutral, and ground, pretty straightforward. Uh, but before we do that, it comes with uh, strain relief. So we wanna do that first. And the strain relief goes through this hole right here. And then it goes like this. And then you wanna jam it a bit. I actually jam it with my finger. 
There we go. All right, so take our wire. For demonstration purposes, we run our wire in through the strain relief. Ugh. Come on, baby. I need to loosen up a little. Run it in there. I probably got too much wire in here. Let me uh, let me do this first. Let me cut this back. So I should have done this first, to be honest with you. Um, I probably only need this much. Yeah, this is one of those things you do backwards. So if you're watching this, you get to see this before I actually do it and don't make the same mistake. So strippers again, twice in a fucking day. Come on. All right, so this wire's a little bit, um, which way should I wanna go here? So let's do the green first. Oh. Jam rod in there. Probably should use a screwdriver, but fuck it. No bullshit. Just run straight through. White is right here. Come on. Jam rod in there. To be honest with you. I'm happy I'm actually doing it up here because if I was doing it underneath there in that fucking cave, I'd be pissed off more than my usual self. Bam! Now we got a strain relieve it. Relax all that strain that I just put on myself. There. All right, lid back on. Bam! Look at that, beautiful cable we got going on here. Now, all right, so next, and this is um, where you wanna get lazy or cool or professional. This thing's gotta mount somewhere. It doesn't really have to, I could literally just probably leave it like that. No one's gonna know or give a shit. Uh, decisions, decisions. Where am I gonna mount it? I can mount it over here. That's a spit. Normally you'd wanna mount this to like a stud, but then my studs are in the way. Fuck it. It's staying like that is, as it is. Whatever. Shit on me in the comments. Call me a pathetic non-electrician loser. All right. All of our connections are basically from the house are done. This is garbage. Next, I'm gonna slide this mofo into place. If you have hard wood, this is probably not a good idea, but I don't have hard wood, so fuck it. Actually, before I do that, this connection's on a bad side for me. Rip this fucking shit up. Get rid of that. So I, I'm, gonna, I'm going that way with this thing, so I'm gonna do this. Take this this way, put it through here. And uh, I'm gonna have to snake this. This is, this is where it's gonna start getting fucking tricky for me. I'm probably gonna have to crawl in there. And it's gonna be a long, long time. It's gonna suck. All right, fuck, I'm in my fort. Oh shit, get that through that hole. And perfect, it's not fucking big enough. Oh, you will fucking go. You will fucking go. Yes, you will, yes, you will, there we go. See, this sucks. This part sucks. Ah. All right. I don't know what to do next. So this is gonna go through that hole for me. And this sucks. All right, all right. 
I made it. And it's gotta go here. And, okay, I'm good. Sort of good shape. I'm gonna fucking be stretching it a little. Maybe, all right. The package did come with a spring clamp. Uh, I should've kept the old one. I think I like that one better. But whatever. Clamp, clamp. That goes in there. Give me a little, just a little more. Socket, use a socket instead of a screwdriver. I'm just in an awkward position here, trying to do this. So this is easier with a socket. All right, next up the bat, I'm gonna do the electrical. It says to put it through this loop, which I'm gonna do. This is gonna be really hard for everybody to see, but the plug is right here. I'm gonna have it go like this. It's kinda weird. Oh, it's in. Electrical's in. Last but not least, the water. And I got just enough fucking room to do this. Thank Christ. Alright. So I took a step back for a second. Um, I did add some plumbing tape here. Whether it's needed or not. Uh, it's controversial. Probably not needed, but added insurance. Why not? Yeah. Bam. All right, I need a fucking beer. Cheers. Really quick here. All right, everything's set up at this point. You want to make sure there's nothing, not too much tension. I do have a bit of tension on that drain hose, but as soon as I put it in, it'll go away. So next step is to throw this in there and uh, try to get all this excess electrical, in my case, out of the hell. Get this out of the freaking way. All right, slide her in. Wait, there's some shit down garbage. Garbage, garbage. <clears throat> Fits beautifully. Beautiful. All right, next step is to adjust all the feet. All right, I'm kind of fucking frustrated right now. I'm gonna give you a massive fucking tip if you've actually made it this. Do me a favor, if you've made it this far into the video, please hit a like button and subscribe. I'm gonna give you a massive tip and it's not in the instructions because it, it's fucking bullshit. It's all about the lifting of the feet, all right? There are the feet right here. I, unfortunately, I have a tile cut off, so the feet go low and lower, lower and lower. Um, but I'm telling you right now that adjusting these feet when you have this dishwasher in its position is a fucking swear job and a half. And I know some of you don't like to swear, and I swear a lot in my videos. I've been trying to tone it down because YouTube doesn't like it. But anyways, I'm telling you right now, if you try to adjust these after installation, you're gonna lose your damn mind. They tell you to do it with a screwdriver in the instructions, um, like that, and it, trust me, it doesn't work. Before you install this thing, unscrew those while you have it somewhere nicely positioned because you are gonna lose your mind doing it right there. Anyways, that's a pro tip from me because this really, really, really sucked. Cheers. So as per the instructions, it just says, just put a silk screwdriver right here and twist. It's so simple. So simple. You just put the screwdriver into the slot and twist. Fucking pain in the ass. Huge pain in the ass. Anyways, like I said, try to do this before you get to this position, but when you do, you can kind of, uh, when you get to the point, there is a hex on it. I'm gonna tell you right now, it is a 17 millimeter hex and once you get it to the hex part it goes a little bit better but it's still a huge pain in the ass but it gets much easier once you're here all right so these are adjusted and i got a gap right here it's about the same all the way across you got to understand the this is level this floor is definitely not level so it's gonna right a 
teetering stage here. But anyways, what I'm trying to do next is give you an idea. If you look here, it's flush here, but if you go up, so we got to bring the ass end of this thing up. And the way to do that is with this middle screw right here. As you can see, there's an arrow to go down, arrow to up. So we got to go up. That's the next step. All right, easiest way to do this, in my opinion, you can use a screwdriver, but I'm using a, a ratchet. And this is going to bring the ass end up. We got a nice straight across here. That worked out well. Nice here. And it's the back end's flush, but you can always mess with it a little bit if you need to. But I think it's good. It looks flush to me. Maybe I can set it back a little bit. But anyways, I'm not too worried about that. Um, I will say a couple things here. These brackets, um, I didn't put them on. Uh, you, maybe you should have earlier than this. See, with this, this is why you use these brackets. So if you notice, this thing, let me do this. It still rocks a little bit, right? Use these brackets. I can put these, I might put these in on the side. My problem is I'm getting this countertop replaced. So if you want to watch that, uh, please subscribe to my channel. But these brackets, I didn't put in yet. Uh, you can do that whenever. There's another thing here I'm going to mention. The dishwasher comes with this film. All right, the reason for this film is to try to, I mean, realistically, you don't need to put it on, but there's a seal up here. And uh, if what happens is steam could potentially mess with your countertops. For example, this is wood right now. Um, steam could potentially mess with it. So you put this strip in. You probably want to do this before you install it because it's pretty easy to do. You just slap it on and it sticks. Um, but again, I'm not putting this on because I'm getting new countertops, so I'm in a little bit of a different story than probably you. So that's what I will say with that, and same with the brackets. The brackets are, you can weasel in after the fact too, so. After a bit of deliberation, I decided I'm gonna put these brackets in from the side because I'm gonna mount it to my cabinets. Therefore, nothing will touch the counters when they go in. So when you're doing a side mount, they recommend you bend this forward just like that. I pulled it out a little, and I'm gonna put it in with this L shape, S shape, sticking like this. And then on this side, I'm gonna bend those tabs a little bit using hopefully something like this. Just like that. All right, so I kind of beat it around a little bit, moved it around, got an actual level to make sure it's level this way by using the back screw. It's in position and it looks like I can do this after the fact. So a screw comes with some screws. There is a tear here, I noticed, and I thought that was like a tear tear, but what it looks like it is a access for the screw that would go right here. Boom. Well, that's it. I made it to the very end. The install went pretty good. Like I said, uh, like I said, the worst part were the feet. I strongly recommend, strongly recommend loosening those up before you actually put it in because those were a big pain in the ass. Anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Off to the next battle. Oh, by the way, check this thing out. I don't know if it's going to make a video, but maybe. Anyways, cheers till the next one. Pow.